The multiplication law states that when you multiply similar terms, you add the powers. What I mean by that is say, for example, we had a to the power of b times by a to the power of c. Obviously, these two numbers are the same and that is a necessity. b and c can be different. It doesn't matter what those are. And this equals a to the power of b plus c. This applies to all terms, including negative terms. So, for example, if we had x to the power of minus m times x to the power of n, then again, the x's are both the same. That's perfect. That's what we need. m and n, it doesn't really matter what they are. We can still apply the same rule. We'll have x to the power of minus m plus n. Now, here we are technically done, but we could tidy it up a little bit to x to the power of n minus m. As an example of this, you could have something like 2 cubed times by 2 to the 9. Now, you might be able to actually work this out. It'd be a pretty big number, but you could actually work this out rather than using powers. However, to make it easier for ourselves, if we just want an order of magnitude, we could do this. 2 to the power of 3 plus 9. Well, 3 plus 9 is 12, so it's 2 to the power of 12. If you had something like this, so let's say you had... 3 to the power of 4 times by 5 to the power of 7. Well, the, the two base numbers, 3 and 5, aren't the same. In this case, we can't do anything. The base numbers need to be the same, like in this example, where they're both 2, or here where they're both A, or here where they're both X. If they're not the same, you can't do anything. The division law is just the opposite of the multiplication law. What I mean by that is the multiplication law, we added the powers. Here, we're going to subtract the powers because, again, Multiplication is the opposite of division. So say, for example, we had a to the power of b, and we were dividing that by a to the power of c. Again, it's important that these two numbers are the same, a and a. And a. b and c, doesn't matter what the values are there. Then we subtract the powers, so we'd end up with a to the power of b take away c. You can also apply this to fractions. So say, for example, we had x to the power of 6 over x to the power of 2. Well, remember, a fraction is a division. It's the top divided by the bottom. So this is the same as x to the power of 6 divided by x to the power of 2. And again, applying this rule, that becomes x to the power of 6 take away 2. And 6 take away 2 is 4, so this is x to the power of 4. The multiple powers law is when you raise one power by another. What I mean by that is, say, for example, we had a to the power of b, then we raise that to the power of c, then this, you would multiply the powers. So we're going to end up with a to the power of b times c, which we can just write as bc. Say, for example, we had x to the power of 3, and we wanted to square that. Well, this would become x to the power of 3 times by 2. 3 times 2 is 6, so this is x to the power of 6. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic exam on our learning platform? Here you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you did, both in a written format so you can see a quick explanation here on what you should have done, and also a video format if you're still not sure and need an expert to talk you through it.